Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the HTTP error 431, request header fields too large. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would like you guys to try is to access this website or web page from a different web browser and see if you are having the issue occur over on multiple web browsers or even different devices if you want to try using your phone or other laptop or tablet device you may have in your possession. In that case, it would be a server side issue and there's really nothing you can do except contacting the administrator of the web page or web host to let them know there's an issue. However, if there is a client issue, specifically if you're having an issue with a particular web browser like Google Chrome, but the other web browsers seem to work okay, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's say you're having an issue with Chrome, which most of you guys use Google Chrome. So we're going to use that for today's demonstration here. You want to go up to the top right and select the menu icon, and then go down and select Settings. On the left side, you want to select Reset Settings, and then select Restore Settings to their original defaults. This will reset Chrome settings and Chrome shortcuts, disable extensions, and delete cookies and other temporary site data. If you're signed into any web pages, you're probably going to be signed out once you relaunch the web browser here. So go ahead and select Reset Settings. And then once you're done with that, close out of here. Open up the search menu. Type in CMD, best match. Should go back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select Yes. And now into this elevated command line window, I want you guys to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W I N S O C K space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. And there you go, guys. Hopefully now your issue has been resolved if it was a client-side issue like I was describing earlier in today's tutorial. So, as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.